Lawrence, it's Tracy, and Violet and Boris from Nova Scotia Living. It's six o'clock in the morning. My alarm just went off like while I was walking. Well, I had two alarms set, so I got up around 5.30. But my six o'clock one just went off, so we're almost home. Those guys took care of their business. They were down in the ditch, which was awesome because it's like a grown-up ditch and I don't have to go down there and pick it up because it's down in a ditch. Oh, but anyways, today is going to be day three of painting. Dad's going to come out. Um, and we're going to finish the floor. So, oh yeah. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we're back home. Um, I just made my coffee. I finished packing the kids' lunches. Boris and Violet are making an awful racket. And Maze got up. So, still a few minutes before I gotta go get Misha up. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna sit and have this coffee. I told Maze I don't want the TV on. I use this time for it to be quiet. And of course, these two bozos start making a racket. But, Anyways, yeah, don't jump, Mace, don't jump. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. All right, stand up for a sec. <laughs> Go over in the light and turn the big light on. I want to show them your outfit because it's so cool. All right, I don't even have to wake Misha up. Look at the t-shirt she has. She is going to be the coolest one in her class, Motley Crew. It was Medea's that forgot it here, and then Kara was wearing it, and Kara forgot it. So now it's Misha's. Hey! All right. I just have to show how cool you are. All right. It's only 7.13. We're outside. They're kicking the ball back and forth. And there's Boris. There's Violet. Oh boy. Oh, it's the high of 17, low of 9 today, so it's a little chillier than the past few days. You can certainly feel it when you come outside today. Love you. Have a good day, Devin. Violet, smart knock. Ah, it's there. I'm sitting over here with these doorknobs because those guys were over there playing and. I should go so they can wave, or I can wave. We can all wave together. There. All right. We did it. Two down, two to go. All right, we're back outside. Mazai is over there looking for a cat that was over there. Well, I didn't see it, thank goodness. But, oh, it totally feels like fall today. Look at the leaves are changing color. I don't know if you can see like the speckles. And there's already leaves on the ground. Yeah, it's only going to be a matter of a couple of weeks. Stop, that's just Mazaya. Stop. Hey. For goodness sakes. Violet. Heavens to Betsy. Oh, here Violet. comes Mally. Oh. Violet. I'm telling you, you guys act foolish. You're going in the house. Did they act foolish with Devin? No, they were good today. But you guys get up there in case, well, you don't have to get right up there. I just can't sit up there because the dang compost. It's compost week this week, thank goodness. <sighs> Up there. Because you're teenagers, you can handle it. Well, you're not a teenager, but. And you're, you're in a baby. I need to stay and watch my fluffy bunnies. Yeah, I'm not a teenager. But I, I, I can't do it. All right, just a minute. <sighs> Man, I took my spot, but these guys were getting tangled in Agra. Agra! Oh, look at them. They're just singing. They're happy. They're not weighed down with the humidity or anything. They're happy. You can feel it. Yeah, that's kind of how we, I thought, that's pretty sure it was older than 
Yeah, probably. Oh, there's a leaf. Love it. Is it? It's not the bus. <laughs> okay. It's the bus. Don't trip. Okay, have a good day at school, children. I love you. <sighs> There's a Dalmatian in that truck that's behind the bus? Oh, we'll have to stay. Okay. Love ya. Have a good day. Let's see. Oh, we might see a Dalmatian, you guys. Don't get your nose out of joint. That's not a Dalmatian. <laughs> Are you guys saying good morning to each other? That's some sort of big bully type dog, like with the big head and stuff. Cute, cute. All right, Dad just got here. These guys don't know yet. They're busy playing. There he is. These guys are acting a fool. They're acting a fool, I'm telling you. Ugh, Boris. But I shut the gate between the kitchen and out here so they don't. Oh, Boris is learning. Once he has his like five minutes of excitement, he's fine. He's fine. He just needs to, whatever, I practice trying to tell him to sit. And for the most part he does, but sometimes he won't listen because he's so excited. But I just keep them separated and then after he calms down a bit, he's fine. He doesn't jump or anything like that. But it's just a matter of teaching and learning. He's only six months old. He's still a baby. He's still a baby. Oh, look at these two sour pusses. <laughs> Dad even came with a baggie of treats this time. Yeah, just that little five minutes is good. Like, I don't want to think it's okay to just go and jump on. And he, these guys love Papa. Violet doesn't do it so much, but she barks and stuff. And it's like, calm down. We just washed a couple of paintbrushes. Dad's outside shaking them off. And I would have did that last night, but I didn't know we were going to do that. But anyways, whatever. We're going to roll the floor. And um, whatever spots don't roll, we'll have a brush to do it. So... Yeah, I wonder how stinky it's going to be. It's oil paint. We'll see.
All right, guys, it's around lunchtime now. My husband was working all morning, but he's gone to town now, so that's good. I'm, I think he's picking something up for supper, so that's awesome. Awesome. It's just been a super busy week, and that way I don't have to worry about supper sort of thing. Um, it seems like my days rotate around food all the time. <laughs> I love food, <laughs> but... Anyways, I think he might be picking something up. I'm not sure if it's from the grocery store or from a restaurant, but whatever, whatever. I'm going to sit down and um, rest a bit. Dad left around just a little after 10. It didn't take nearly as long as it did the past couple of days. But, yeah, it's pretty exhausting doing home renovations, at least at my age. And I'm not super old, but I'm not a spring chicken, if you know what I'm saying. But... There's Violet. Boris is over there laying on the couch. I had the fan blowing at me because I'm hot. It is kind of chilly out, but I have this door open. I just want fresh air because the smell of that friggin' oil paint. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. You can smell it all through the house, honestly. Honestly, but... Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a check-in to let you know what's going on. Um, we'll see what he comes back with. I know I do have some bologna in the fridge I could cook up. Or if he comes back with something easy, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know. So, anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I just wanted to check in, let you know what's going on. And, yeah, the room looks fantastic compared to what it was before. I mean, this house, I think, is a sentient being, and it's just loving loving the upgrade kind of thing it's nothing fancy nothing whatever i think it's fancy i do it's an old house it's like if you walk into an old church when i think of the old baptist church i used to go to for sunday school no matter where you step the old wood floors creak there's a certain smell to it and stuff that's what our house is like um especially in an empty room um going to the sunday school classes and things like that it was like that wherever you step there's a click because of your shoe whether you have the softest sneaker or hardest heel um yeah in there that's what I felt while I was in there and it's just like I love it I love it and I'm glad that I can do something for this house to make it feel better and for Mally because it's gonna be her bedroom and it's just just wonderful just wonderful so that's going to take a few days to dry properly the floor is kind of shiny because of the oil paint but i'm okay with that because there's certainly much more traction on a floor than a wall or a ceiling or anything like that and um yeah if we have to wait for three or two three four days i don't mind at all because mally already has a bedroom to sleep in now it's not a big deal, but yeah, I'm feeling very accomplished, very accomplished. I'm just really, really tired, and I'm just going to relax here on the couch with the fresh air and with my dogs, and I love them so much, and yeah, anyways, when he gets back, I'll show you what he got from the store if he goes, well, I did tell him, I did tell him I need some bread or um, maybe some burger buns because I might do burgers tomorrow. I know we had burgers not long ago, but I have some frozen hamburgers. Um, we need some milk, and I need a mouse for the computer that has a cord. We've had wireless com um, computer mouses, but the one we have now isn't working. I changed the batteries, and it's just not working. And I'm just like, get one that has a friggin' cord that works. Go to Walmart. And see if it's under ten dollars get two if it's over ten dollars get one <laughs> so i'll see what he comes back with all right guys i have not checked in in a while i fell asleep upstairs <laughs> i just came downstairs and shoved a piece of pizza in my mouth because my husband got oh for crying out loud he got a extra large pizza and large garlic fingers for supper so I'm like oh yeah baby got me a coffee 
I just went and tied them outside. My husband's already sitting outside like he's taking my job. <laughs> I come down the stairs like Mrs. Roper. Oh, frazzled. Oh, the kids are going to be home. <sighs> Meanwhile, I have a pizza crust dangling over the side of my mouth. I just split it with Violet and Boris. Just the crust part. Couldn't help it. I was hungry. All right, is that the bus? Oh, Lord, is that the bus? Just dancing in the wind. I have my coffee. I'm sitting here waiting for the bus. It should be any second now. I know what I'm doing. I'm on time. All right, here it is. Look at uh, Misha's outfit. <laughs> Isn't she cool? <laughs> How was school? Did everybody notice your t shirt? What did she say? She said she likes your shirt. How was school, Maze? Did you have a good day? Did you bring back your black hoodie? Where is it? You don't know, that's not acceptable. Did you take it off outside? Oh. But your teacher said she likes your t-shirt? Yeah. She likes the Motley Crue. The Motley Crue, Motley Crue, Cool. Oh, he's over there shooting basketballs right off the bat. You want to go move that bucket over there? I couldn't be by Santa, that was too soggy. How was it? Ooh, all right, we're inside, the kids are home. I'll show you what my husband got in town. So he got a big, large garlic fingers. And, yeah, um, and a donair sauce. Uh, he got these at Walmart, I can see great value. All dressed, salt and vinegar and all dressed. I don't know if he got the milk there. Probably. This would have been at Superstore. They don't sell like raw meat at Superstore at Walmart here. Superstore right there. Yeah, seven sixty nine, and it's seven sixty nine or seven ninety five. It's seven sixty nine a kg. Seven eighty six. He got two big things of Mr. Noodle: beef and chicken. I don't know where he got that, but it must have been on sale for him to do that. I know he went to Walmart because of the chips, and he got these. These were thirteen dollars each. He decided to get two anyways, which is good. And two things of eggs from, I don't, yeah, great value, Walmart, Walmart. Now I'll put this away and I'll show you what he got at the do dollar store. Okay, so at the dollar store, I told him to get some more burger buns because we got frozen burgers. We might have them in the next day or two. Um, it's cheaper at the dollar store than the grocery store. He got two of those. I said some loaves of bread. He got some jelly beans, some toothpick and flossers. He likes those. Um, he uses these in his car, disinfectant wipes, and some of these little containers I use for berries or whatever in the kids' lunches. He just got another one. So, yeah, that's what he got from town. Oh, um, Misha came, she's gone up to check out the bedroom, but Misha came home with this. I usually get the kids that for like Easter or birthdays or something. It's a pack of four. I think orange and white and blue and green maybe. I don't know. I forget. There's like four colors. It's not quite Play-Doh. It's not quite, quite slime. It's almost like foamy. There's a little entrepreneur in her grade that's selling it. She brings it to school, sells one of these tubs for $3 a tub. But they she must put food coloring in it. It's forest green. I'm like, what a smart little... What a smart little girl. So Misha went and bought one with her own money. Four screen is the exact same stuff. You can get four for the price of four dollars. But hey, that's a business woman for you. All right, Misha has a little library up here in her room. She just opened up. And I picked some books and Maze picked some books from her collection. Okay. She has some right there. What's her last name? McGoober. And there. 
just a minute. I'm just showing them some of your library books. Watch out, Boris. And then she has um, some right there. Isn't that cool? So, <clears throat> and now she's going to write down the information, and I'll show you the books I. <laughs> just a sec. Boxes is a good book, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I like myself a good quality box. So, yeah. I like this kind of library for sure. Oh, I just noticed the library hours she has written down here. Yeah, Open from 3 to 7. To go oh, this is fine. 3 to I'm 7, all, 3 to 7. All open, okay? Okay. <laughs> Take it easy. You got time. That's nice, Mish. All right, guys, I'll show you what I got at Misha's library. I got a book called Boxes, because I do like a good box. It probably shows different ways of how to recycle boxes, maybe. Cool. Mm -hmm. I got a scary book. Haunted Canada. It looks like something that you would Ten. read, but it's short. That's my library That's my short, slip. So more scary no, true stories. Short. Excellent. Uh -huh. <coughs> And I got oh. one called Underwear because it's kind of funny. Ew. <laughs> Who doesn't like them? some underwear? <laughs> yeah. And then I got, I'm still here in the bathtub, brand new Silly Dilly songs. They're like poems and stuff to the sound of probably nursery rhymes or something. I like poems a lot. So that's what I got. Maze is just checking out some books now and I'll show you what he gets after. Right. Oh, wait, no, we need to show them what books we'll Show them what books you got. Okay, so the first one. Most of these are dog men. So I got three books. We'll hold it up and show them. So first one. Dog man, Grim, and punish oh, punishment. Punishment. Yeah. Pleaky day. Grime so, and punishment. All right. What's the next one? Okay, so this one, it's... Uh, you may have heard of this, so it's a Pixar Disney Plus one. The Good Dinosaur. Yep. Yeah. With, the uh, what was his name on his back? I can't remember. Yeah, me neither. But it's a fun... Oh, Did yeah. Did you take this from Violet book? Yeah, it's yeah. a fun book. Oh, Violet just borrowed a book from the library. Uh, <laughs> Billy Baker's Dog Won't Stay Buried. That was in that mail from Randall the other day. Yeah, so she wants to read that one today. And this is... That'll be a good one. My other book. What, here. Yep, show them. That's another one May's got. And we're going to bring it back on the 17th, which is in two days. So I'm just going to read mine. Mays is up there reading out loud to us a little bit. Um, I just read this one to everybody. And this one to everybody. They're good ones. They're really good ones. Oh, Boris is excited about his uh, book. He got the Animal Ark Treasury, so we're going to read that one after. Stop it, Boris. For heaven's sakes, he's up there reading. That day, only It's trying to make blueberries, but then I make Yeah. Oh, Misha has, this is in her library, one for 25 cents, the bookmarks. Ooh. That's hard to decide. You don't have to. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. I didn't put an ending on yesterday's video. Oh, it's, we're just on our way back from our walk. We're almost home. It's just after six, but... Yeah, last night I started sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and snotting and sneezing. And I took a cold. I was thinking I was coming down with what Mally had the other day. And I went to bed, like, before the kids did. You're twisted around me, Boris. And I'm up now. But I don't think I'm sending Maze to school because he has a runny nose and a bit of a cough. And I don't want him to send him to school. He doesn't seem to have a fever or anything, but, you know, he doesn't need to do that. <sighs> but, anyways, yeah, it was so good to get that floor done yesterday. Uh, I 
haven't peeked in on it today, but um, yeah, we're almost at the end of the tunnel with that room, so that's good, good, but I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too, I still love ya. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. My nose is itchy. All right, guys. The wind is going. The trees are waving. And I'm going to say, have a good evening. Or have a good morning. Have a good night. Have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.